folks, it's Amy K. Sunday Funday here for you tonight, and we are going to unveil for you the Cosmopolitan. Now, folks, the Cosmo, as we call it here, it's been a mystery of where exactly it came from. But rumor has it, it came from a bartender in the Odeon way back in the mid 80s. And it became so popular that the likes of Keith Haring, Sam Shepard, Dennis Hopper, and yes, my best friend Madonna, they all loved it. And it just grew and grew and grew. And I think someone by the name of Sarah Jessica Parker introduced it to Sex in the City in the 90s, and it just blew up. Now the Cosmo folks, it's dicey. It can be made a little too sweet, it can be made a little too tart, but there is a classic recipe and that's what we're gonna do tonight. And don't ever shy away from ordering the Cosmopolitan. A lot of folks get embarrassed because of, yes, the TV show and people think it's cheesy, but when it is done correctly, this drink soars. It is absolutely a classic and it's delightful. So Pam, if you can just zoom in, the ingredients to have in the Cosmopolitan, the classic style are gonna be vodka. I love Tito's, easy breezy, good to have, handmade. We're gonna do some Cointreau. We're gonna do some fresh cranberry. A lot of recipes call for the good old ocean spray, but I think it's better to have the old school, really good tart, no sugar, because it's gonna really bring out the balance better. And I went ahead and juiced some lime to save us some time, because we know I like to ramble. So we wanna have some fresh lime juice. And a lot of recipes do not call for simple syrup, but I'm gonna do a little bit of simple because it adds a lot of texture to the drink and I'll show you, show it to you and talk about it at the end. So first things first, we're gonna start in your small Boston shaker. We're gonna do a good three quarter fresh lime juice. We're gonna pull that. So three quarters folks, when you're juicing, if you have like a decent size lime, it's gonna be a good half of that lime. Then we're gonna do equal part again, three quarter of your cranberry. Boom. And then we're gonna do three quarter Cointreau. You can actually go a little bit heavier. So do another like less, like a bar spoon. So three quarter and like a bar spoon of Cointreau. And then we're gonna do a touch of simple. So the simple is gonna be, folks, about a half ounce, which is equivalent to a bar spoon. Boom. And then for your vodka, definitely two ounces. And like I always tell us week to week, we're in quarantine about 18 years in now, so you can go a little heavy too. Now, traditionally too, folks, in some of the old classic recipes, absolute citron is a big component for the Cosmopolitan, but I think mixing that with the simple, the Cointreau, it kind of just messes up the balance, so I recommend this right now using straight up vodka. But again, you can play, it's up to you, you are the guest. So now what we're gonna do is pack our other shaker with ice. And as you know, we're gonna shake this till it's too cold to handle, too hot to handle, and let out that woo. Woo! About like 20 seconds. Because you wanna get a really nice, nice froth when you're pouring it. Do it for Sarah Jessica, everybody. Woo! We're gonna hit that. And you're gonna grab your favorite glass, preferably like a martini style glass. I did go ahead and chill this. And the Cosmo, you do want to double strain. So get your mesh strainer. And we are gonna, oh, Pam, look at that. It's like Sarah Jessica and Madonna and all the legends are right here. Look how pretty that is. 
So you want to get a little bit of those suds on the top and then you know it's perfect. And then your choice, I do like to garnish it with a lime wheel because it is pretty. Want to give it a nice little, make sure you have a better paring knife than me folks. Mine is not that good. Give it a little hug on the rim. And that is the classic Cosmopolitan. Look at that, beautiful. Don't shy away from this drink. If made right, it is spectacular. So please folks, follow me at Amy K Sunday Funday for all the tips. I'm gonna toast Sarah Jessica and hey, even Madonna. Cheers, woo, stay safe.